Hi, my name is Cameron Carlos with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at OhioCon 2019 with my good pal, Mr. Jake Pake. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on. Hey, it was wonderful. You're, you were one of the first people who ever did a walking, talking interview ever. Oh my goodness, I was one of the first walking talks. That's yeah. incredible. We did the the Aaron Sorkin together. We did that. It's like we were in the West Wing. Yeah, that was the first time we ever did that. So again, going back to that, it's been about three years since the last time we got to uh, about now four. Last time we got the chance to talk to you is at Suricon 2015. How have you been since then? Man. Uh, I've been great. Lots has happened since then, whether it's in life or in work stuff. been able to work on a ton of great new shows, um, shows that I was on. I got to take on new roles in. I got married. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's been a good few years uh, and thrilled to be back in Ohio. I think, as you know, like I've had the opportunity to do some awesome stuff and work at some amazing conventions here. And uh, OhioCon has been a real treat so far. So, yeah, you seem to like live in this hotel. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Columbus is my home away from home. Yeah, uh, so again, uh, thanks to MatsuriCon in Ohio, you happen to be getting a wonderful friendship with Mr. Kevin Bulk. Uh, what's it been like to be, have that wonderful friendship with him and work on so many wonderful projects? I know he helped you with your lovely wedding, and he also did the uh, he did some other fun things with you, card games, videos. What's it been like to have just a wonderful friendship with him and work on so many collaborations with each other? Ah, it's great. Uh, I mean, Kevin is just like a, such an honest heart, such a great person and a truly talented artist as well. So like as soon as we met, there was a lot of like chemistry, just joking around and hanging out. And we both really respect each other's art. And we found ways like, you know, I think a lot of people might be surprised that like, you know, an illustrator and cartoonist and an artist and like a voice actor have such a like find so many opportunities to synergize their work. But we do. Um, and so we do panels together. We do a drawing Pokemon with the professor panel, which people love. We great like everybody gets to draw. We look at everybody's work. We provide little like uh, uh, circumstances to draw like a Pikachu in or something. We have a great time. So we found all these ways to work together, and um, I support him on stuff like where I, like hopefully this I'm not uh, you know, letting a cat out of the bag, but I think he's planning to potentially foray into some some video content yes. in the future, yes. and um, we've been partnering on that as well because uh, like you know that's something that I'm really passionate about. Um, and yeah, for my wedding, he actually, uh, he, I, we worked with him and created these, these little art cards yeah. of uh, my wife and I out hiking because we love being outside yeah. and our two little kitty cats in the mountains. And I mean, it was awesome. Like so many people came up to us and were like, my God, these are so cute. We're like where? And I, I could be like, that guy over there, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin drew those. Uh, I mean, he's actually right there now. Yeah. 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 You, can so the you can see Sammy's head and uh, I think you can see Kevin's sweatshirt. Exactly. You can yeah. see the back of his head. He's with us now. <laughs> Um, actually, I saw those art cards. He posted those uh, after the wedding. They were so awesome. I loved them, especially because you guys are a cute couple anyways. Um, so, uh, wonderful thing that happened since last time we talked. You got to join the Gundam series, being Gundam, Gundam Thunderbolt. It's a 20-year-long series going forward. How's it been like to now join that uh, historic franchise? I mean, just an insane honor. Like anybody that knows me has heard me talk about how much it means to be to means to me to be a part of the Pokemon universe, the Yu-Gi-Oh universe, and Gundam is definitely one of those those same things. Like it's something that I have been passionate about and and loved for a long time. So to finally uh, you know like get to be a part of it in a couple different uh, a series and to work with uh, Michael Center Nicholas and Stephanie Shea who directed me. I mean, there's that's great company and great people to be working with, and uh, no doubt like. Uh, the difference between working on Thunderbolt and uh, Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like, they're two very different things. And I love to be able to stretch and work on that type of stuff. Um, like, sometimes, you know, I'm a young, you know, like, very young teenager in a mobile suit going off to die and screaming death. And then, you know, the next day I'm, you know, making uh, Pokemon sounds in a booth. You know what I mean? So, uh, no, I mean, it's been a real honor and a total treat. You, yeah, you are, a, you're definitely, I mean, I'm a big Wing fan as well. Like, I know some people, I've heard some people have, like, thoughts about Wing and whatever, but, like, I'm not going to lie, like, I really enjoy it. And I think the people involved in that, I think they did a great job, you know what I mean? So that'd be a good one to own that full collection uh, on. The funny part is I've actually met three out of the five pilots. Yeah? Uh, since last time we got the chance to talk, you'd worked on a new version of the Winx Club. How is that going and the fan response to it? Oh, I mean, it's great. We, uh, I think this is my... Uh, gosh, I'm, you know, people are going to uh, excoriate me here, but I think uh, this is my, my third or fourth season uh, with the Winx family. Um, and, like, I love the tone and energy. Like, that's another one of those two. Like, I love um, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! animation style. And Winx Club is very similar. Like, the last seasons are so fun and funny, and that world is unlike anything else that I get to play in. And actually, um, I hope I'm not, like, spoiling anything here, but 
our upcoming season has some like real uh, some real changes, um, not only to some of the storylines, but also to the 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 style uh, that I think people are going to dig. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm excited about it. And and uh, what I will say too is like Brandon is a character that I love. Like uh, I don't get to play a ton of like kind of like real like bros, you know what I mean? Uh, and he's like a really kind-hearted uh, bro, uh, and I love him. Like I, when I, I typically I don't do this for all my characters. But a lot of times, like I just stay in character as Brandon when I'm working with the directors on that. And because like he's funny to talk to, like he's a funny person to talk to. I, I sound like I'm insane. I'm speaking the third person. Like when you speak to Brandon, um, but uh, no, that's a really really fun one. Method acting. Indeed. Right? I'd say Lisa Ortiz knows this, but I do all of my uh, sessions as Pokemon in Method, so you don't get to talk to Jake for that session. You're talking to Manectric. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's funny, because Lisa was posting about how she needs to get better on her feet, actually. Uh, she, was at the tra- she was on the elliptical this morning. Uh, so one thing we didn't touch on last time in your bio is that you uh, make movies with Legos and action figures. Um, do you feel having the flexibility to work in that medium allows you to become a better actor and filmmaker? Yeah, so that's like, that's actually how I got my start, like, uh, learning to love filmmaking and storytelling, actually. Like, my fir- the first things that I ever did was, like, you know, was playing with Legos and action figures and, like, filming them and stuff like that. Like, that's how I, honestly, it's how I developed a lot of my early voices and how I developed a lot of my early storytelling. And I think I joke about it, you know, sometimes that, like, I was able to then graduate to working with real live human beings. <laughs> um, but that was really how I started. So anytime, you know, if you've come to any of my panels on content creation or whatever, like, I really support people playing and doing that stuff because you know like being that kid who's like using your phone to film or somebody's phone or a video camera to like film little stories with your legos like that's the beginning of learning narrative character development all that type of stuff so i think it's an integral part of like what made me want to be a storyteller Actually, it kind of reminds me of going back to the Robot Chicken days when they first started using a lot of claymation and, and slow slow panning and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, those they're legends. You know what I mean? Robot Chicken is is up there on the, the Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore. Uh, no. yeah. um, so um, are there any upcoming projects you want fans to know about at this time that aren't part of the pesky NDAs? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the really big one that's out there that's been really exciting uh, uh, for folks that don't know, I'm voicing uh, the lead protagonist Yusaku Fujiki in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, and yeah, and is his alter ego playmaker. Um, and we're pretty deep into recording that already. The team is awesome. That that uh, our director Darren Dunstan is is amazing. Everybody knows him. Uh, he's he's stellar and fantastic to work with. Um, and not only is the show a real treat, the characters um, one of my favorite characters I've ever voiced. But the fa- the feedback that we've heard from people has been so incredible. Uh, you know, every arc has its own special thing to it. And, you know, for this particular one, I do feel like we're stepping into some places that, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, like, maybe hasn't gone before or hasn't explored this way. And I, like, I just even spoke with somebody just now that was, like, really touched by the things we're doing and the way we're talking and the type of character that Yusaku is. Um, So for folks that might be looking for something, like, with a little bit more, like some sensitivity and maybe some like adult components you know i don't want to say that it's not you know for the the demographics that it's always been for but there there are some really powerful things in the show that i think people will draw people of like a pretty broad spectrum of ages it sounds wonderful um also on top of that where can we find you on the internet so we can keep up with you and a final message you want to give to all the wonderful fans that have been keeping up with your career ever since you started with pokemon yeah, uh, the, the best way to get a hold of me, um, I always tell people, if you have questions about the work I'm doing, or if you have questions about making stuff, uh, you know, like if you're a filmmaker, a blogger, a uh, podcaster, and you and you want to ping me about, like, how like how you deal with criticism or YouTube comments like that, yeah, you can always get a hold of me by uh, Twitter, at Jake Paik, just at J-A-K-E-P-A-Q-U-E. Um, you can find me on Facebook as well, but that's a little bit harder for me to kind of keep up with. Um, and truthfully, for everybody that, you know, like, uh, you know, has, has supported me, seen me, followed my work, um, I can't thank you enough. Um, the, to hear the, the feedback from people, whether it's online or in person, is incredibly inspiring. And when people, you know, come up to me at these events and, like, give me a hug or tell me about something that, that I worked on that was meaningful to them, uh, I mean, sometimes it brings tears to my eyes. So, like, the, the family that, the extended family that comes from working on these shows is really what this is all about to a lot of us, and I'll say it's very true for me, so I just can't thank people enough. Again, Jake, I have a wonderful time talking to you and meeting you again. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thanks for everything.